Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Zen Yin Yoga with Michelle. Today's practice will be about creating spaciousness in the low back. So we'll be focusing on the low back as well as other areas of the body that are related to our low back muscles. Um, props needed for our practice today, either a yoga block or if you have a blanket or a towel and you can just uh, have that rolled up like a burrito as we'll be using either your yoga block or the blanket um, underneath the hips um, as we lay down on our backs. So if you want to go grab your props and I will meet you back on your mat. All right, let's get started in a child's pose. So bringing the big toes to touch and the knees nice and wide, send those hips right back to the heels and then walking the hands out in front of you and lowering the head down. And letting the upper body just sink down. And then let's take a big breath here in through the nose, fill the belly up. Big open mouth exhale. And now bringing our attention to the low back, mid back, breathing into this space, taking a big inhale here, big inhale through the nose. Fill up, fill up, fill up. And taking a big open mouth exhale. And then just returning back to the natural flow of your breath, breathing in and out through the nose, keeping the mouth closed. Noticing your breath. Where does your breath mostly reside? Is it in the chest? Is it in the low belly? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Not trying to change it or make anything up about it, just being in awareness of what the natural flow of your breath is like. Now, for today's practice, since we are Focusing on the low back, I want you to mindfully send your breath down into the low back and low belly. Noticing the spaciousness that you create with each inhale in this region of the body. And as you breathe into this area of your body, just notice how it feels. Notice if there's some tightness or it's kind of sticky. Let's take three more slow, deep breaths here. And last breath, taking a cleansing breath, 
Breathing into the low back and the belly. Big breath in through the nose. Fill up, fill up, fill up. And then taking a big open mouth exhale. Let it all go. Very good. Lifting your head. We're just going to slither down onto our belly. So coming towards the top of your mat. And we'll come into Sphinx Pose. So having the elbows aligned under the shoulders and the arms are shoulder width apart. Hands are active here, so we're spreading the fingers, pressing down through the fingertips. And then take an inhale, pressing away from the floor through the forearms. Reach your chest forward and then pressing the pubic bone to the earth. So getting into the low back here. See if you can lift the belly button up off the floor. If this is a little bit too much compression on your low back, you can take these different modifications, maybe widening the feet about the width of your mat, or you can send the arms out a little further out in front of you. So just feel what supports you here, but that you're feeling a, a stretch in that low back. And we're just going to take five slow, deep breaths here, making sure to press that pubic bone down and doing your best not to clench the glutes. Uh, let's take one more breath here, breathing all the way into the belly. Feel the belly press into the earth. Feel it in your low back as well. And then taking a big open mouth exhale. Good. From here, we're going to come into a side body stretch. So bring that right hand and forearm at a diagonal. And then using your left hand, you're just going to slowly roll onto your right side body. Now, instead of lifting yourself up, let that right side body sink down. So you should feel this in your whole right side body. Now, if you'd like to come into this a little deeper, you can send, bend that left knee and then send that left foot back behind you. That'll get a little bit more intense on that right side body as well as probably in your left quad. Each time you exhale, give the body permission to sink down even more. And we'll just take three more breaths here. Last breath, big inhale. Let's take an open mouth exhale. Beautiful. If that left leg was extended, let's bring it back to meet the right and then slowly, mindfully rolling back onto your belly. We want to support the low back here. We're going to come back into our Sphinx pose. So just readjusting yourself nice and easy. Crossing into those forearms, take your inhale, lift the upper body up, pressing it into the pubic, pubic bone and then reaching the heart forward. Good. Three breaths here. Good. 
Last breath, big breath in, fill the belly up, fill the low back up. Open mouth, exhale. And then we're gonna come into that side stretch on our left side. So bringing that left forearm in, using your right hand to support rolling onto that left side body. Let that whole left side just sink down. Let the ribs melt towards the earth. And then the same thing on this side. If you want to come into this a little deeper, you'll bend that right knee, bring that right foot back behind you. Taking five breaths here. Last breath, big breath in. Fill that left side body up. Big open mouth exhale. Bringing that right leg to meet the left. If it was back behind you, slowly rolling back onto your belly. This time, we will stack the hands on top of one another. Lower the forehead down, releasing the low back. You can kind of shimmy or rock your hips side to side. And then just hold and be still here for a few breaths, letting that low back release. I'm taking a big breath in, breathe in through the nose, fill the belly up, the low back up. Take a big open mouth exhale. From here, we'll press ourselves back into a child's pose. So bringing the hands by the shoulder, slowly pressing yourself up. Big toes to touch, maybe widening the knees and then send those hips right back and really creating length here as you sink back. So keep the arms nice and long, reach those hips back, creating lots of space through the low back, through the spine. And then lowering yourself down. Breathing in to that low back area, the low belly. Creating more space in the low back as we move through each pose and we use the breath. Imagine that your breath is able to move out, flush out anything that's been stuck or sticky here. And with each exhale, as that stuff is released, you're creating more spaciousness in the body. Good. We'll take three more breaths here. Cleansing breath. And we'll make our way back onto our belly. So slithering forward once again. And walk the legs in towards one another. Walk the feet in as well. 
and then we'll have our right forearm in front, lowering your head down on your forearm. Reach that left hand back. We're going to come into a quad stretch, so reaching back for that left foot. And then we want to make sure that that heel is aligned with the glute, so we don't want it over by the hip. We want the heel right over the glute. And now let your left shoulder get heavy, just melting towards the earth. Nice bend in that left elbow. Pressing down through the pubic bone. Slowing your breath down. Breathing in and out through the nose. I'm taking a few more breaths here. Letting that left quad release. And last breath here, big breath in. Big breath out, open mouth, exhale. Slowly release that left foot, lowering it back down nice and easy. And then we'll stack the hands on top of one another, resting the forehead down again, and then just shifting side to side, letting the low back release. And then we'll make our way onto our right quad. So left forearm in front, resting your head down, and then reaching that right hand back for your right foot. Aligning that heel over the glute. Let that right shoulder melt down. Pressing down through the pubic bone. Nice, slow, deep breaths here. Let's take three more breaths here. Last breath. Big open mouth exhale. Slowly releasing that right foot foot, letting it lay come all the way down nice and easy, stacking the hands on top of one another, resting your forehead on the hands, releasing the glutes, releasing the low back, taking three breaths here. And last breath, big breath in. Big breath out. Mm. 
bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, we'll press ourselves back into a child's pose once again, slowly pressing yourself up. This time, keep the knees uh, and thighs in towards one another, and then sending those hips right back, reaching the arms forward, lowering the head down, and then just slide the arms, or the, excuse me, the hands all the way around over towards the body. Palms of the hands facing up. Let the shoulders melt forward. Breathing into the belly, into the low back, mid back. One more breath here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Beautiful. And let's bring the palms of the hands to the mat, bringing yourself back up. We'll come into a tabletop here. So shoulders are aligned over the wrist, hips over the knees. Engaging the hands, the fingers are spread nice and wide. Taking a few rounds of cat and cow here. Inhale, dropping the belly, reach the heart forward. Send the tailbone up towards the sky and the shoulder blades back. And then exhale, pressing it away, coming into your cat, arching through the spine, chin to chest. Pull that belly button towards the back of the spine. And then inhale, coming forward once again. And exhale, pressing it back. Breathing in and out through the nose. Let's take a couple more rounds. Inhale, coming forward. Really feel yourself lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, rounding the spine. Good, last one, inhale, coming forward. And exhale, pressing it away. And then inhale, come into your neutral spine. Now we're gonna keep the uh, same type of flow with the cat and cow. We're just gonna kind of reverse our breath and our movement's gonna be a little different. So take your inhale, you're gonna arch up through the spine and then send the hips back as you exhale. And then inhale, flowing forward, begin to coming into your cow, so arching through the spine, pressing yourself. And then exhale, arching through the spine, coming all the way back. Heels, excuse me, hips to the heels. Good. Inhale, rocking forward. Exhale as you bring it back. Hips towards the heels. Good. Let's take two more just like that. Inhale, flowing forward. Exhale. Send it all the way back. Last one. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, pressing it back. And now holding here, melting all the way to your mat. Let the arms soften. One more big breath here. Open mouth, exhale. Glide the hands back towards your knees and then slowly pressing yourself up will come into hero pose. So walking the knees and the thighs and towards one another coming to sit on the heels. 
and then taking a variation of cat and cow here. So just bring your hands to the knees or to the thighs. Take your inhale, send the chest forward, send your tailbone back. And then exhale, pressing it away, rounding through the spine, curl the tailbone in and bring your chin in towards the chest. Beautiful. Inhale, come forward, tailbone back, draw the shoulders back. And then exhale, pressing it away. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, press it away. Let's take one more. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, press it away. And then just come back to a neutral place here. Bring the hands up to the thighs, let the shoulders soften. Taking a cleansing breath, big breath in through the nose. Fill the low belly up, the low back up. Big open up, exhale. Slowly opening the eyes. And then just shifting over to one hip, swing the legs out in front of you. We're going to make our way down onto our backs, and this is where we'll, where we'll be using our blocks or our blanket. I'm just going to turn around here so I can grab my block. So having your block near you or your blanket, and then just lower yourself down nice and easy, coming down to the forearms, and then coming all the way down. And then once you get here, let's just bring the knees into the chest and widen the knees a bit. And then just taking a few rocks side to side. Just releasing the low back. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then we'll bring our feet back to our mat. We're going to make our way into a supported bridge. So walk the heels in towards your glutes and then I always like to come into my bridge very mindfully especially supporting the low back so we want to press into the heels of our feet take a big inhale fill your belly up as you exhale pull that belly button towards the back of the spine and then start curling your tailbone up towards the ceiling as you press into the heels and lift up your hips Nice. And then placing your block at the lowest level or your blanket underneath the hips. And then just let the hips rest here on the block or your prop. And then let's just bring the hands to the sides of the hips, palms facing down, opening up through the shoulders. So pressing those shoulders towards the earth or into the earth, I should say. And then letting everything else go. So releasing the glutes, release the low back. Take a big breath into your belly. Exhale, letting the belly soften, the low back release, the hips release, your facial muscles. Get another big breath into the belly. As you exhale, letting the belly soften even more, the low back, mid back, all release, the upper back, the shoulders. Let's take one more breath here, big breath in. Take a open mouth, exhale out. And now very slowly bringing your knees in towards your chest. You can start just with the right knee and then bring the left knee in. 
You can keep the hands here, extended out, or you can bring them to the knees. Whatever feels best for you here. I just want you to focus on letting the legs get really heavy, letting those thighs fall in towards the belly, towards your chest, so that you're getting this nice opening spacious stretch through that low back as the upper back and shoulders sink down. If you feel like your block is going to slide out from underneath you, you can just support it here by holding it with your hands. Most of the time it just does a little slip, but it doesn't come all the way up. Let's take a big breath into the belly. Big open mouth exhale, let the belly soften, let the legs get heavier. Taking one more breath here. And then from here, we'll extend the legs, sending the feet up towards the ceiling, coming into what we call waterfall pose in our yin practice. You can point and flex the feet, rotate through the ankles. And then just find a place of softness and stillness for the feet and for the legs. If your hamstrings are really tight, you can always have a bend in the knees and maybe hold on to the uh, thighs here if that gives you some extra support. The main thing here is letting that low back release any gripping, And letting it just get heavier and heavier as it sinks down to the earth, creating more space. Notice if your chin is really high up towards your ceiling. Just tuck the chin in, creating some length through the neck and the spine. Now start letting the legs get heavier and heavier as they fall towards your upper body. So here you may want to hold on to your block if you're using a block today. So just kind of wrapping your four fingers around it and just letting the legs get heavier and heavier, letting gravity support here. This is really good to get into the low back without any force, so we're not forcing the legs down, just letting it all happen organically. And the goal isn't to have like your knees in towards your chest or by your ears here. This is just a very easy, passive plow pose. Keeping your focus of breathing into the low belly and the low back. We'll just take three more breaths here. And last breath. And slowly bring your legs back to where they were in the beginning of your waterfall pose. And then bend the knees. And then wrapping your arms around your legs here. And just let the legs get heavy here. 
taking one big breath here. Big open mouth exhale. Keep your left knee in towards your chest and then extend your right leg all the way out, heel to the mat. If this is too intense to have the leg extended all the way, you can just bring your foot to your mat. So we're getting a nice stretch in the low back as well as that right hip flexor. And now to create a little bit more spaciousness in the body, keep your left hand on that left knee and then just glide your right arm all the way up and over by your right ear. Nice, slow, deep breaths here. Breathing into the belly, the low back. And here you can really feel the spaciousness that you're creating with each inhale. So as you focus on sending the breath down into the belly and the low back, it's also going to get into that right hip flexor. And just mindfully be aware of the sensations that you feel with your breath. Let's take a few more breaths here. Notice if the chin is up really high again, just gently tuck it in. Good, last breath, big breath in. Big breath out. And oh, so gracefully, as you bring that right knee back into the chest, just glide that right arm all the way down and then back up to that right knee and hug both knees in. Good. And then we'll make our way to the other side. So holding that right knee in as you extend that left leg, either bringing your left foot to the mat or extending the leg all the way out, heel to the mat. And then before we reach that left arm, out to the side and back behind us. We'll hold here for a few breaths. Breathing into that left hip flexor and the low back. And then let's release that left hand and then just glide it all the way out and back around. So it's extended back behind you. And only if this feels good. If it doesn't feel good in your shoulder, by all means, just bring your arm to the side of your body or back to where it was. Let's take three more breaths here. Last breath. 
open mouth exhale. And then gracefully gliding that left arm back around and down. And then bringing that left knee in. Left hand to the left knee, squeezing both knees in here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Very nice. We'll release our feet, bringing them back down to the mat. We'll come out of our supported bridge the same way we came into it. So take that inhale, fill the belly up. Exhale, pull that belly button towards the back of the spine. Curl your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Lift the hips, taking your block or your blanket out from underneath you. Holding here in bridge for one full breath. Big breath in. Exhale it all out. And then slowly lower down, upper back, mid back lower back and then your hips and then just taking a few breaths here feeling into that spaciousness that you created in the low back maybe you feel it in your hips as well Let's take one more breath here. And then very slowly bringing the knees in towards your chest. Squeezing it in. Big breath here. Big breath out. Let's extend that right leg all the way out, holding that left knee into the chest, right heel to the mat. And then from here, we're gonna come into a twist. So using your right hand to guide that left knee over towards the right. Left arm can extend out to the side, palms facing up. And just gently guiding that left knee to the earth, so not forcing here, but feeling this stretch in the low back and also across the collarbones. Maybe looking over to the left. Take a nice deep breath into the belly into the low back, mid back. Taking an open mouth exhale. Letting everything soften. Let's take one more breath here. And bringing that left arm to your left thigh or knee. Slowly bring that left knee in towards your chest as you roll onto your back. And then bring the right knee in as well, taking a few rocks side to side. Massaging the low back. And then we'll come into our twist on the other side. So holding that right knee in as you extend your left leg all the way out, heel to the mat. Left hand to the left knee, excuse me, right knee, guiding that right knee over to the left. Right arm extends out to the side. 
I'm gonna feed all the chicken nuggets. And my back just did a nice release. I hope you are receiving that as well in your body. Extend brass to the belly, to the low back, mid back. Open up, expand to soften even more. more breath. Okay, we got the breath exhale. And bringing that right hand to your right thigh or knee as you bring that right knee into your chest, rolling back onto your back. And then bringing the left knee in, rocking side to side. Hmm. And let's extend the legs, feet up towards the ceiling, holding on to the backs of the thighs, stretching and lengthening through the legs as you point and flex through the feet. Rotate through the ankles. And bringing the knees back and towards your chest and then lowering your feet down. Actually, let's come back. Let's give ourselves a big hug here. So really hugging the knees in. Lift the head, chin in towards the chest. Taking a big breath here into the belly, the low back, mid back. As you open mouth, exhale, let everything go, lowering the head back down. Release your arms lowering your feet to your mat. We'll make our way into Shavasana here. An option you can choose to take if your low back needs some extra support today, walking the feet out the width of your mat and then just letting the knees fall in towards one another. You can stay here releasing the low back or you can extend the legs coming out into our traditional Shavasana, taking up lots of space you've already created all of the spaciousness in the body, so taking up even more space externally. And as you're here, take a big breath in. Big open mouth exhale. And letting your whole entire body release. Feeling this spacious energy that is flowing through your body, through your veins, through your cells. You have this new, healthy, clean energy that is flooding your body. Let it nourish, let it nurture. 
any parts of your body there or maybe a little achy or that have been a little troublesome lately. And just creating this spacious energy into those areas. Deepening your breath. Fill your whole body up with your inhale, with your breath. Hold at the top of that inhale. Fill the spaciousness in your body. And then sip in a little bit more, filling up even more, creating more space. And then taking a big open mouth exhale. Slowly bringing movement into your body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, the wrists, the ankles, gently rocking your head side to side. And then reaching the arms up back behind you, bring the feet back in towards one another, or extending your legs out if you had your knees together. Taking a nice lengthening, stretchy, spacious, Stretch here, big inhale. And then as you exhale, bringing the arms into the chest, gliding your feet to your mat. And then bring the knees into the chest, hugging the knees in, giving yourself a nice big hug, taking a few rocks side to side. Just tending to that low back once more. And then rolling over to your right side in fetal pose. Taking a few breaths here. And then slowly pressing yourself up. And we'll meet in a easy seated pose, so either having the ankles crossed or one foot in front of the other. And let's bring the hands to you, Anjali Mudra, palms of the hands together at the heart. Taking a cleansing breath here. Big open mouth exhale. Tuning in noticing how you are feeling, how your body is feeling, noticing the spaciousness that you've created. Noticing this new energetic energy flooding through your body. And I'm feeling the need to just expand even more. So let's just extend our arms out, palms of the hands facing forward. 
feeling yourself creating a little bit more space, radiating all of that energy. Take a big inhale, open, reach the arms back. Smiling. And then as you exhale, bring the hands slowly back towards one another, feeling the energy in the palms of your hands. Bringing the palms together once again, Anjali Mudra to the heart. Mm. Taking a big breath in. A big breath out. Gently bowing our heads. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I truly, truly hope that your body feels this new energy of spaciousness. And remember that creating spaciousness within isn't just physically. There is also creating spaciousness for our emotions, creating spaciousness in the mind. So a lot of times also to do that, we get to declutter. So through our practice today, we did declutter through the low back and other areas of the body. But you can practice creating spaciousness through meditation, decluttering the mind, practicing spaciousness by decluttering your emotions. That's a great way to do that is through journaling. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. May you have peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in your body, and peace in your life. From my heart to yours, namaste.